Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you're good, I hope everything's fine and uh, look at this. So this was our previous video, make sure to check it out. This is our beautiful uh, sunflower um, shaped uh, vertical columns. Uh, so we separately made one uh, component, <coughs> excuse me, we separately made one component and then we pasted all over the place, All right. So look at how nice it looks. Uh, you know, for today, uh, we are going to be making a parametric uh, set of uh, table and chair which we are going to be placing it at this point all right so it's going to be a very fun video i'm very excited today is our first you could say furniture video you know furniture is a whole different uh you know furniture and internal uh you could say decor and design is a whole different world inside brevet right <laughs> it's very fun to work inside parametric furniture i've even done a few videos before but today you're going to learn so many different new things so let's get quickly started enough of the talking let's first of all uh, so we have opened it and played let's go to this let's go to this let's go to millimeters two decimal places fine fine so we're in our reference view our reference level the first thing is of course the table and it's going to be completely parametric right so it's going to be very fun uh let's bring it out okay so this is our main table and uh you know what let's see let's even make a, a glass uh, section in between so for example this is the one that we made after that um you know let's click on this let's change this into our controllable parameter and uh, let's go to right here and this is going to be the the one dot uh table r a d i um, r u s let's press ok and uh, let's go to right here let's press ok and uh, after that let's go to create and uh, let's go to extrusion and let's do the same thing let's make a glass in between all right so let's just go to right here let's press tab and let's select it and uh, we have already what why did we why did it get okay it didn't get rotated so let's press ok and uh, you know what let's even select the materials right here and this is going to be the g l a s s uh glass 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 okay we already have the glass so let's go for some sort of a different color one okay how about this one <laughs> i just randomly picked it up let's press ok and uh, let's press ok and um, for this one uh, let's go to the materials right here and uh, let's go for maho uh, Maho, <laughs> excuse me, Mahogany, this reddish sort of wood. I love this color. And uh, this one, so this is my favorite. Let's press OK, let's press OK, and uh, let's go to our 3D VR. Check this out, guys. <laughs> let's go to this, let's go to this. So our table head is already made, and now we are going to be completely making it parametric. First of all, let me fix our representation. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, photo, no, this is not activated. It's only be activated when we activate realistic. Let's activate this, and uh, let's press OK. All right, here you go. So now uh, let's go to the front view uh, let's go to the front view so remember the thickness of the table is already we've made it parametric uh, for example if you go to 1000 right here and uh, it is going to change all right so it successfully changed now let's go to the front view we're in our front view you know i'm speaking fast because there are so many different things and uh, otherwise the videos would get boring if they're excessively long so now check this out um you know we have made a glass right this is our glass this is our table so our first task is to lock the glass in between that space so bring it above and unlock fine uh, bring it above and lock. I expect you guys not to be very you could say a beginner in Revit, right? After that, let's you know these two uh, reference planes are made for for to control the thickness of the table, right? So let's go to bring this above and uh, let's lock it and uh, let's bring this above and let's lock it and uh, Now let's press DI. So the first parameter is going to be from this point to um, uh, Let's go for DI from this point to this point so this is the first parameter and the second one is going to be from this point to this point <coughs> excuse me uh, excuse me for my sore throat uh, after that let's click on this so this is the thickness controlling parameter right this is going to be the two dot uh, t a b l e t h i c k n e s s uh table thickness and uh let's press ok right here and uh, let's click on this let's click on this this is going to be the three dot and it's going to be the t a b l e and h e r g h t <coughs> excuse me excuse me guys um so this is going to be the height and uh, now check this out uh you know test your parameters or right? sometimes there are problems with this that's fine for example the thickness if you press okay check this out so the thickness automatically got decreased it means we are successful and uh, the height uh for example usually tables are about one meter and check this out guys so uh you know our parameters are successful and did you guys note that when we're changing the height um the top plane is not moving it's only the bottom plane why because this is the one that we locked right so there are many so many different small things that uh, you know which you're going to learn in uh, furniture families but you'll only do it when you practice again and again for example if you press three so the above one is going to move the down one is not going to move because the down one is locked to the other one all right to the other you could say parameter let's press okay and the above one is going to get down this one is locked to this all right so that is perfect all confusion clear and we have locked the glass in between let's go to no not 3d view 
let's go to the reference plane and uh, now we need to make the leg of this so let's go to uh, create let's go to extrusion uh, let's go to circle and uh, let's make a, a circle leg I think this is uh, enough right let's click on this and uh, let's click on this let's change this into a parameter and let's click on this and let's change this into a parameter so this is gonna be the four dot and uh, this is gonna be the leg uh, T H I C K N E S S leg thickness let's press ok and um, uh, what materials do we want for this uh, material material okay we're gonna choose the material fine we'll do that later on for the materials okay we can we can do it now so you know I don't know why um, red so the above part is gonna be wooden <laughs> let's give it a red I don't know why I am in love with red these days and uh, you know we even need some sort of a landing below that right so how about we even create that let's go to extrusion and uh, you know when we look at this shape from the from the front it's gonna make sense I think right now maybe it won't make sense to some of you guys but that's fine we are gonna fix that so this is our main bottom you could say our landing right there's there are landings and uh, let's even change this to to red 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 perfect 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 now let's go to a 3d view and uh, let's go to the 3d view and this is what we have all right so let's go to the front view and let's fix this completely and uh, now uh, check this out right so make sure you understand this is our landing and uh, this is our leg right so the thickness of the leg is parametric and uh, now landing is not parametric so the first thing is let's lock the landing to the floor and uh, let's bring it a bit down these are usually very uh, thin fine and now let's lock the leg to this landing locked and uh, the other one is going to be locked to this and uh, let's lock that <coughs> excuse me uh, now for example if we change the table height to 1200 and everything is going to change all right so everything is successful our parameters are up to the mark let's change this 100 and it got changed to 100 and uh, let's go to 3d and check this out guys so you know i just thought of this table just right now and look at how beautiful this is so there's a glass in between and uh, this is the leg and that is the landing and uh does the thickness look a bit odd that's fine this is the the table thickness 100 and uh, yes check this out all right so how beautiful this is so you could say a big part of the video is already complete after that you know let's go to the reference uh, plane and uh, you know i'm not uh, for example if you're going to make chairs that's a separate video it's going to take so much time so let's try to import a chair it can be anything let's just uh, import that for a while and let's try to add uh, you know a few uh, parametric formulas all right how about that uh, so the first thing is that we need to radially array this chair okay let's click on the chair let's go to the last and this is going to be radial and uh, let's place the point in between and let's rotate it by 180 degrees and check this out so you know I'm saying so why do I say check this out so many times in one video so now we have uh, so it is radially arrayed by 180 degrees but let's let's make it 360 so grab on this point and uh, grab on the what come on uh, cancel and uh, for example click this and uh, this is the point all right so yes grab on this point and rotate it and here you go so now it's rotated by 360 and now we need to make these parameter guys so our table is successfully completed all right so now is the chair so for example if you clip on the original chair we press tab and this is gonna pop out and this is the main circle of our array so the first thing is we need to control this number into we need to change this number into a controllable parameter so this is gonna be the the five dot on number of chairs let's press ok and uh, now for example if you go to this so okay this was the okay for a uh, five dot we are successful and I mean we are correct and uh, let's press apply and check this out so the number of chairs got uh, successfully parametric all right now for example if we press tab uh, no let's first of all click on the chair and uh, this is it so we need to control the offset of the chairs from the center so it's this value right here let's change this into uh, a dimension let's click on the dimension let's go to right here and this is going to be the the seven dot uh, chair of set so I mean there are so many different things that you learn today all right make sure you watch this video carefully and um, for example for example for example so the seven dot chair for example uh, 1300 and if you press apply and check this out guys so our table is completely you could say you know we have successfully made everything completely parametric and you know now the thing is that uh, 
In order to make an effective parametric model, we have to connect the radius of this table to this chair. It's your choice. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. You can close the video. Uh, but in my case, let, let's do it. You know, it's fun. So, for example, we need to connect the, the chair offset and the table radius, right? How about we click on this? We press Control C. We bring it right here. We Control V and uh, we give it, for example, minus 100. So minus 100 mm is actually this value from this point to the middle of this, right? You can experiment all of this by yourself. For example, if you press apply and check this out, so it's always going to be minus 100. So for example, if we change this to 1500 and check this out, guys, we have successfully applied a formula right here. So this was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something from this, right? This was the completely uh, parametric uh, uh, set of chairs and tables. And why is the height so much? Uh, table height. Uh, how about 800 go to apply let it get down perfect and at the table <coughs> excuse me the table radius let it go a bit inwards and let the chairs go inwards perfect and the, the table thickness also looks a bit more so how about 80 and check this out all right so everything i'm doing it in front of you guys and our completely model is i mean our model is successfully made and it's completely parametric look at how beautiful everything looks all right so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from this all right this is our beautiful uh, you could say set of parametric chairs and tables have a good day and uh, bye bye